So, this is a quick video of a machine build for CNC uh, built off of John Saunders over at NYCNC. Uh, he uh, put an upload uh, of a little bit of his build on creating a very affordable, uh, quite accurate uh, two axis CNC machine. Um, I currently only have one axis hooked up. Uh, I've got a machine, the Y axis here, the centerpiece for these bearings. But uh, this is a really affordable, easy to make without a lot of fancy tools uh, CNC machine. So I um, just want to toss up a quick video of me running it. I've got it hooked up here. We've got a uh, power supply. We've got a shield here, a uh, stepper shield for an Arduino Uno. And I'm running Gerbil on the computer over here. Uh, or universal G-code sender with Gerbil. And uh, we've just got a couple of NEMA 17 steppers on here. Uh, nothing too expensive, nothing too fancy. Um, and we're running this with a belt drive. Um, this is only put together, I'm literally holding this belt firm with magnets right now. This is just a temporary test. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, enter in a quick command. So we're going to go to X1. We're running there. Continue on to X2. Continue on to X3. And let me remind you, this is just a very quick build off of uh, John Saunders Instructional. And we have a functional CNC here. Now I only have one axis running up in, uh, at the moment, but I'm gonna be adding in the Y axis and then uh, actually adding in a third axis because the shield's capable of it. We're gonna put in a Z axis, coin vertical here. Uh, I plan on using some 3D printed parts, particularly for the Z axis to make this a, a somewhat modular CNC. You could use it as a pick and place. You could use this as a little plotter. Uh, you could theoretically use this as a 3D printer. Um, however, there's some more efficient ways of making something like that. And uh, we'll see how this project goes. And let me know if you guys would like to see some videos of uh, how I made this. Um, I would definitely be glad to show you. I literally purposely uh, made this with as few tools as possible. Um, all I did was lay out the holes for all of these with a scribe. Um, I center punched them and then I put them on a drill press. This entire thing is drilled and uh, quote unquote machined on a drill press. So it's really accessible. You don't need a lot of fancy tools. Theoretically, I guess you could do this with just an electric drill. Um, it would be a little bit more difficult to keep everything straight and aligned. Um, but using a hacksaw and a drill press, you can do a lot. Um, so thanks a lot to John Saunders. Um, and hopefully we'll have a few more videos showing this off. Bye.